Well, they trade as well. You, EU and, and UK indices are looking to open slightly stronger despite that weak lead from the Asian session where the Aussie and, and Asian indices uh, finished in the red with the uh, ongoing US-China tech-related frictions and the disappointing Japanese GDP data uh, weighing on risk sentiment there. Um, the FX markets in the Asian session, we saw the US dollar was softer. Uh, dollar index uh, retreated from that extreme overbought RSI level to push below the key 105 level. Um, dovish commentary from the Fed's Logan as well, uh, ahead of the Fed blackout window, probably didn't help the, the US dollar and a bit of strength in the, in the, the counterparts as well, um, weighing on the dollar. Um, sour risk sentiment, you normally see the dollar rally, but uh, this, this time all those other factors seem to outweigh that, so you're seeing the dollar down on the session. Euro bounced after a sell-off uh, yesterday's dismal German data. Um, Euro US pushing it back, back above that key 107 level. I did find some support at the June lows. Uh, saw it uh, have a good little bounce from that. Dollar yen choppy, uh, down early due to the risk off mood and also some uh, jawboning from the Ministry of Finance. Uh, saw the pair test that SNR level at 146.63, uh, bouncing back later in the Asian session. Um, Japanese finance minister Suzuki stating in comments that Rapid FX moves are undesirable, and they warned that the Japanese Ministry of Finance won't rule out any options. So that raised the spectre of um, of intervention. Obviously, Aussie dollar rallied to test that key 64 US cents level, uh, which was very a key support level up until recently. Now is acting as resistance, um, despite the risk off tone, and there's some recent commodity pressure. So um, a weaker US dollar, and, and I think the technical support of that daily trend line seeming to be the main drivers in this pair. Looking ahead today, main risk events um, will be Canadian jobs report later today and also one to watch for is that Chinese CPI release tomorrow.